It's been so long. Where the heck did you go? You went away. You sold your house. And I you, left you. You moved to New York. It was a bad breakup, but I was like, this is for me. Yeah. I need this. You needed some space. Yeah, I needed some space. Oh, no. We and moved to New York. You're still living with that lady, Emily Blunt? Pretty sure that's her name, yeah. yeah. It's hard with all the accents, but yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's Emily, yeah. Emily Blunt is, uh, the, you two are just the sweetest, most oh, talented. thank you. What a talented couple you two are, too. She raises us, my, our stock up. She uh, sort yeah. of tips the stock up in our favor, yes. I can't wait for Mary Poppins to come I out. Can't wait that's going to be amazing. Yeah, she it's just, awesome. She just did that. You guys know Mary Poppins, right? You know, you remember that. Yeah. She just did yeah. that. So. And then since I've seen you, I, I met your, your little girl up uh, north in Montecito That's at the San right. Ysidro Ranch, That's which right. is no longer there. Which is terrifying. Yes, and, uh, but we, now you have a new little girl. We have number two. Her name's Violet. That, yeah. oh, I thought her name was number two. Number two. Did you name her? Yeah, I was a big Dr. Seuss fan, so I was like, just number two's fine. You named That's her good. number two. Yeah. Um, Violet. 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 Yep. And the and the first one is Hazel. Hazel. See, it's been so long, I forgot her name. You forget the names. It's cool. Yeah. Well, I don't. The need last it. time they were popular was in 1890. Uh -huh. So we were like, we're safe. <laughs> we're safe. Yeah. No one's gonna have another Hazel <laughs> exactly. in the class. And how are they? They're amazing. They're so much fun. I feel like every time people talk about their kids on this, people are like, we all have kids. <laughs> Ugh. But they're amazing. Um, <laughs> and they're geniuses. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> More uh, so no, than Violet was kids. very funny. The other day it was a rainy day, and I was trying to. Um, be a dad. And I started singing her a song, which is already a bad thing. And I, there's this song for kids that goes, roly poly, roly poly. You guys don't know it? Oh, that's weird. Um, <laughs> and all of a sudden, Violet, who's 18 months, went, yeah, baby, <laughs> that deep. <laughs> and I was like, Emily, uh, first of all, has she heard the song before? Second of all, what was that? <laughs> and she's like, I have no idea. Three days, we have no idea what that was. Then we turned it on in the car, and it was like, roly poly. And at the end of the song, this guy just comes in and goes, yeah, baby. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. She looked at me like, are we good? <laughs> That's what that was. Like, Dad, you don't get me already. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's hilarious. It was weird. And in that deep voice. In that deep voice. She's pitch she's perfect. She's this big. <laughs> well, <laughs> and she was like, that, yeah, baby. Dude, that's extra tiny. Yeah. For, she's very small. She's very, very yeah. small. All right, here we yeah. go. I have this on here for a reason, because Blake Shelton. Uh, you like Blake Shelton. Yeah, does. well, he's the sexiest man alive. Um, and I'm sorry that you lost out, but you're in the section geeky to gorgeous. Oh, boy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Wow. Oh, good. They showed a high school picture. Yeah. Oh, that's look, great. Look. Oh, great. Perfect. You made it bigger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what everybody wants, right? All right. You guys all want to see your high school picture? Yeah. I think it's great when you go through an awkward phase. It's horrible when you're just like constantly popular or gorgeous your whole life. That they, must be the worst. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> I don't know what that's like, but it must I'm be. I'm still in my awkward phase. Yeah. Look at these pants. I like them. Thank you. I like them too. What, well, then why did you say it like that? Because it's like an awkward phase, but it's cool. It's geeky uh, to gorgeous. Come I, on. I like it, and you are gorgeous. And thank you. Do the do the girls like the beard? That must be fun for them to play with. It is. Yes, they love it. I thought they'd be terrified, and then I shaved it after the movie. In the movie, I have the beard, and uh, I shaved it. And my three-year-old said, "What happened to the beard?" And I said, "Oh, I, I shaved it. You know, it, that's so smooth. You can touch it." And she went, "Put it back." <laughs> And I went, well, I'm not a Lego guy. I can't just, like, snap it back. It's going to take some time. But you did it. I did it. I you, put it back for her. You listened to your daughter. Yeah, of course. Does Emily like it, too? She must like it also. She does like it. Yeah. Which, again, I thought she'd be terrified, but she does like it. Yeah. So you, so you did it for the movie, the scary movie. Do you like... I love scary movies. Did you like them? Growing up? Yes. I, no, I still don't. I don't like scary movies or any of that stuff. And so I'm the perfect person to direct a scary movie. But, well, then why did... Yeah. Nope. Why? No. No. no, no I thought just like a shark was gonna come. No, no. Take me away. No, but really, why would you do a scary movie if you don't? I mean, did it scare you? To, did, did it take away the mystique by directing a scary movie? Yeah, definitely. My whole thing was I loved the story of scary movies. So like, I haven't seen all the scariest, crazy stuff nowadays. But I watched Jaws and was that nerdy kid who was like, "This isn't about a shark. This is about three guys overcoming their fears." And people were like, <laughs> "Nerd." Um, <laughs> But I remember when I was 11, my brothers and I were over at a friend's house, and he was like, we're going to watch Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you want to watch it? And my older brother was like, you know what? I got to get John home. He's too young for this. And 
I remember leaving and being like, you just used me. You did not want to see that movie. And you were like, sorry, guys, the little brother. <laughs> and then we got home, and he was like, thank God we're not seeing that movie. Yeah. And uh, we've never seen my middle brother since. <laughs> so I hope he's all right. Well, I'm so, I, I can't, because when we come back, we're going to show a trailer. And I can't, I haven't seen it yet. I don't think you're finished with it yet. Is, is that right? <laughs> yeah, you're just, I, I'm I not finished with the movie. When it comes out, I still won't be finished. I, yeah. I want to see just it. me in a costume being like, don't worry, it's scary. I, no, I can't wait to see it. It's and I asked really about fun. it, and they said they're getting it to me because I, yes. I really love scary movies. All right, so one last question before we go to break. Um, they're, they're bringing everything back now. I mean, Roseanne's coming back, Murphy Brown's coming back, and then I heard that they're going to reboot The Office. Did you hear that? I did hear that on the internet. <laughs> Guess you didn't get a call. You me. What does that say? NBC's like, you know who we didn't like? Jim. No, that can't be. Well, then they're not doing it. It better not be true. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Go to commercial. Go to <laughs> They wouldn't do it without you. Well, no. it looks like they are. No, really? I haven't gotten a call yet. But, well, maybe they're not doing it. I was just looking it. for a phone. Imagine if they were like, will you? And I'm like, let's suit up. Yeah. Would you do it? I hope you would. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? I'd love, to, do, I'd love to get that gang back then together. Then you'd move back here. I would move back yeah, here. Yeah, then we'd see we'll each other again. We'll oh. shoot it in New York. Oh, no. What happened?